Hey guys, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here today with three partial flips. Partial, kinda, I don't know. Um, as you know, I've been participating in the hashtag ATC a day, ATC AD 2021. I've been posting my cards on my um, Instagram account and I've been posting them in Art Joyous Sharing. If you do not belong to the Art Joyous Sharing Facebook group, you really should join. There's a lot of happy art going on there right now. All right, so I was encouraged to show people how I store my books, how I store my cards, and I do it one of two ways. Either I put them in the binder with the nine pocket um, baseball card plastic sleeve things, which is great if you have the shelf room for all that, but I'm running out of room. So I decided to compact, and this is 2020s. It's an accordion, or whether they call it a, I don't know, there's some name starts with a C that they call it for the uh, Serpentina, or Serpentine, anyway, uh, accordion style book. So there, the spine is open. It's just paper that's folded back and forth, back and forth, back, back, back. I think these are half inch folds, either half inch or quarter inch. I can't remember. I made this a year ago. Um, it's been finished for a year, except for today I added the flower and the year 2020 on it so I could remember what year it was. I Because it's got this folded spine, I really can't do a whole heck of a lot. I mean, I could put like a nice little piece of something across here and across here, but pfft, forget it. Um, anyway, so here is what I do with the ATCs. I just put them in the little book, and then when I feel like getting inspired by something, I just go back and look at all the pictures in the book. There should be 30 cards in here, because it's done the month of June. There's 30 days in June, so that's that book. All right, so now we come to this one. This one is for 2021, and this is a Jiffy muffin mix box that I had cut down to make two books out of. So this is like half the height of the box. Uh, this morning while they had the AJOS live, I covered it up. I already had the insides done. The pockets were already finished. There are eight of them that I had already put together. I just never finished it. So today while the live was on, I took some um, jelly print paper that I had in a drawer and I covered the book in the jelly print. Even did this part, the spine on the inside. And I took the signatures or the little pockets and I nested them one inside the other. So there are four signatures, but there's actually eight different sections in here. All right, so there's that. And I did put this on the spine so I would remember what year it was. Because if I don't remember 2020, at least I'll remember this one's 21, 2021. All right, so here it is. Here is the first, first one in here. Now these pockets are made so that each one will give you four pockets here, two on the front and two on the back. But if you don't glue the ends together, you also get these on every one of the um, end pieces. But I did not glue these together, so I have extras. I probably won't use them. All right, so this is day one. And that's how they fit in. They just slide on in. And I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in here because I think we're up to day 10 today. And on the back of them, I wrote down each one of these entangle patterns, the day it was, and the date that I made it. So if I need to go back and look at any of these and know what day it was, that's all documented on the back of the card. Um, on the Art Joy Sharing site, for those of you who are members who don't remember, I think um, Peg supplied a form that you can glue on the back of these that gives a that you can write information on the back of them. This is good enough. I'm not giving my cards away or sending them or swapping them with anybody, so that's good enough. All right, so that's 10 days worth of stuff, and I still have enough to do. This one makes, this book will have room for 32 cards, which is two cards extra space, and I might just do two more to finish it all out. So that is what I'm working on for the month of June. These little things here, 
I cut them off the bottom of the business cards because I wanted to make sure that they would fit on here and the business cards were a little longer and they wouldn't fit on here nicely so I did chop the ends off of some of them that I had already made and then I thought well I'm not wasting this stuff here because that looks really cool so I just took some black cardstock and I had some scraps and glued these on the scraps and then just glued them on here so I would remember what the contents of this book is so that's that one and yes I am using a rubber band currently <laughs> alright so the next one is a flip through I don't remember if I've done this one or not but the the part I like about this book is this thing. Look at that. It's like this Velcro band. It almost looks like a watch band. See that, if my book was skinnier, let me pull this out. If my book was skinnier, we could put it on here like that. They come in, let me see. I've had them for so long, I can't even tell you where I got them from. But I have a green, a yellow, a red, an orange, and then there was the blue. And this is the first time I've ever used this. I pulled it out of my Velcro drawer. Look, one guy got away from the breast. All right, bud, you go here. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Oh, wait, and no, nope, that's the wrong one. I think there's a black, a black one, too, that goes with this. All right, so that's that. And here's the book that I finished off today. I don't remember when I made this. This could have been in 19, it could have been in 20, could have been in 18, I have not a clue. Since I don't put dates on stuff I'm saving for myself, I don't always remember what year I make things. And now that I can't remember when I made this, I'm not really sure there's a point in putting a date on it because I'll probably get it wrong. It's just a little glue book. Nothing nothing super duper fancy because I like my stuff kind of clean and simple. I don't like a bunch of outlining on everything. I will do it for some things. Like I outlined this and then smudged it because I put my hand in there. This is why I don't outline stuff. <laughs> I'm a smudger. And this is just on um, some kind of a watercolor paper and I just tore it and then put a sticker on there. I think this sticker came from my friend Cindy. And I have to glue these down because really the glue on the backs of these is not that great. And she also sent me this too. It's a teacup and it's it's got dimension to it. It's very puffy. feels cool. Let's see. These are flowers that came from a stamp that I have. Of course these are things that I got out of uh, magazines or someplace like that. I drew this, I drew this, and I made the little envelope, but no, I did not make the envelope. I think I was gifted the envelope, I cut a slit in it because it's not really an envelope, it looks like one, but there is no pocket part, so I just made a slit with the X-Acto knife and then slid that in the pocket. Well, what's perceived to be a pocket, have to put it that way. <gasps> I love this one, yum yum. There's a pocket on this, and this is a sticker, and this is a watercolor flower that I did. Just random things in the pockets. These are two flowers that my friend Cindy Utter made, and she sent me some, and they needed to be in the book. This is my art, and it's cut in strips. So what I, I tried to use in this book was some scraps from other things, and these are scraps. I don't feel like this one's really finished, but I don't know if I will. I don't know if I'll finish it or not. Some of them I just like the way they are. Just kind of plain. I think I got this from Carlette Caged Fish. This is embossed on silver paper. It's very cute. Uh oh, so my stuff stuck together. Oh, that is not wonderful. Oh, now I ripped that, so I'm going to have to glue that. I 
I did not draw the Japanese guy, but I did the um, doodling in the background for him. And these are just scraps, and that's a magazine piece. This was an um, ephemera. These were letters. I, I think they were photocopied or the back of something. But they're not, they're not the kind of uh, rub-ons. They're not rub-ons. They look like they are, but they're not. These were flowers that were stamped, left over from something else. I just love this. This came out of Prim's Magazine. They had some weird stuff in there, but it's so weird it's cute. You know what I mean? And that's it. I'm gonna take this. See if I can't get it squished down far enough. I don't think I can get it to. Oh well, maybe. There you go. That's a weird kind of belly band, isn't it? Works. All right, that was a quick one, wasn't it? Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.